Piggy, piggy, piggy. Hey, Suey. Hey, I got my friend Pig here. I got Wilbur. This is Wilbur and little Porky. That's right. Porky's the little loud one. But I can go Suey. And they come a running every time I, I call Suey to my pigs. They like being called and they're good friends of mine. Wilbur and Porky. All right. Well, Porky makes a lot of noise. So I'm going to put him down for the time being. But pigs are very interesting animals, aren't they? I think so. Where do you usually see pigs at? Well, some pigs are wild and live in the woods, but most of the pigs that we see live on farms. Did you ever see a pig in a barrel? Uh, I haven't either, and I didn't have any barrel to put Wilbur in here, but I have heard the term pork barrel. Now, pork is another word for pig. Uh, we'll use the word pork when we're often referring to eating a pig and parts of the pig that we eat like pork chops and things like that but pork and pig go together he's a real porker this little piggy uh, well when we hear the word pork barrel politics we should remember that the word pork references national funding or money for government programs whose benefits are often concentrated in a particular area but whose costs are spread among all the taxpayers for instance like in Pennsylvania, we pay taxes to help build roads. And where we live here in Lancaster County, we would pay taxes and not all the money stays here in Lancaster County. Some of it could go to Erie or to Pittsburgh or to Potter County or wherever to help build roads there. So we may be paying for some things that honestly we may never even use, but it's a way of sharing with our neighbors and helping people across the state or the country. So public works, roads, um, national defense, agricultural subsidies for farmers. These are often examples of pork or money that the government gives to other places and it's our money, but it's being used for the common good. Now, if you've heard pork barrel politics as a phrase, it's often referenced in a negative way. And the negative view of pork barrel politics is when elected officials will attempt to get more money or more funding for their particular regions that they represent. And it's often money that serves really only a local or a special interest. And one of the reasons that it's viewed in a negative way is because it's often associated with favoritism or special treatment. Or somebody has come to their local representative and says, hey, I'll vote for you if you get more money for me. Well, that could be favoritism or special treatment. And so it's not something that most people are in favor of. What do you think there, Porky? He says, no. The people who get this money or benefit from it are usually okay with it. <laughs> but for those who don't get the money or who don't benefit from it, they will complain that it isn't fair. They'll say, what about us? You know, is it okay to get your own way all the time? Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> Not. Is it okay to show favoritism? To give preference to someone else above others? Well, that's an interesting question. And the Bible actually has several verses that reference how we treat each other and whether we should show favoritism or not. Pork barrel politics, you could say. Philippians 2 verses 3 and 4 says, Don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you're proud. Rather be humble. Value others more than yourselves. None of you should look out just for your own good. Each of you should also look out for the good of others. So that sort of references like when we pay the road tax and it's building roads, not just for ourselves, but for other people across the state. And that's a positive thing. But there are times where we can show favoritism. In the book of James in the New Testament, the Apostle James gives us this very interesting example. And he says, brothers and sisters, you are believers in Jesus Christ. So treat everyone the same. Now suppose a man comes into your meeting and he's wearing a gold ring and fancy clothes. And suppose a poor man in dirty old clothes comes in. Would you show special attention to the man wearing fancy clothes? Would you say, here's a good seat for you up front, a seat of honor. And would you say to the poor man, nah, you stand there or go sit back in the back or on the floor. If you do that to the poor man, Aren't you treating some people better than others? What's a good illustration of how we respond to people? Do we show favoritism uh, with 
how we respond to people who may ask us for something. So that's sort of like pork barrel politics is trying to show favoritism to some people and neglecting others. Do you know that in the Old Testament, in the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, it says this, Do not make something wrong appear to be right. Treat poor people and rich people in the same way. Do not favor one person over another. Instead, judge everyone fairly. So in both the Old Testament and the New Testament, this theme is pretty consistent. The way of Jesus, the way of God, is to be fair to each other, to even think more of others sometimes than ourselves, to show respect and sensitivity and goodness. Romans 12.10 says, Love one another deeply, honor others more than yourselves. So I guess we could say, Wilbur and Porky, <coughs> That pork barrel politics really doesn't have a lot of place in the life of a follower of Jesus because we don't want to show favoritism. We want to bless everyone and we don't want to bless just the rich person. We want to bless the poor person and we don't want to just bless the poor person, but we also want to be fair to the rich person. So read those verses, if you wish, from James again and think about how we treat each other. Let's be fair to each other. <coughs> Let's not practice pork barrel politics in that way. Well, have a great day. Have a day filled with joy and a day filled with peace.